All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, uh, we're now going to preview the early window games uh, for Sunday. Um, Just went through the Saturday games, um, so let's go through them. So, actually, we do have uh, the NFC South um, games in the 1 o'clock window. So you got the, uh, the Bucks and the Panthers and the Falcons and the Saints. Um, so how the scenarios work here is, I mean, the Bucks just got to win and they're in, um, the Saints, they make it on a, uh, I mean, there's, there's still wild card scenarios, of course. Um, but, um, the Saints, if they win and the Bucks lose, the Saints win the South. And then if the Falcons win and the Bucks lose, then the Falcons win the South. Um, Baker Mayfield was dealing with a, uh, rib injury. This week, but uh, Todd Bowles said he is going to play, um, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, the Bucks coming off a disappointing game against the Saints. I mean, all the Bucks really had to do was just win, but and take care of business. And then the Saints were like, "Hey, we're still, uh, you know, we still got talent on our team." Um, you know, Derek Carr played a good game. So I mean, the Bucks are playing the Panthers, so I think they should win. But I, I, I did say this earlier in the week. I really just like don't like trust the Bucks. I feel like this is a game they could definitely lose. I don't know why. I just have like a weird feeling. Um, I'm still going to take them to win. Um, the line started at five and a half, or actually no, the line started at six and it went down to four and a half. Um, and the Panthers they got embarrassed uh, last week, losing 26 to nothing to the Jags to C.J. Beathard. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the I I, I don't know. I'm going to take the Bucks to win, but I might take the Panthers with the points um, just because I I don't know. I just really don't trust uh, the Bucks right now. Um, and this is literally after praising them for the last several weeks and how Baker Mayfield's been playing. You know, I finally picked them last week, and then they lose. You know, so if I pick them again, uh, they might lose again, and then, um, and then they're going to miss out on the division. Um, and then when it comes to the Saints and the Falcons, I mean, these teams played a couple weeks ago. Well, actually, actually, I think it was more than that. When did they play? When did they play? Oh, wait. Uh, they played in Week 12. Falcons won 24-15. to uh, I feel like the Saints get revenge here and they win this game. Um, I know Taylor Heineke was a little banged up, so I don't know what his, his current status is for this game. Um... Because if not, then it might end up being um, Desmond Ritter that ends up getting the start. So, um, obviously the Bears coming off of that loss, or Falcons coming off of that loss to the Bears. Um, so Heineke is questionable. Yeah, he still remains limited. Um, but yeah, if it's not Heineke, it's going to end up being Desmond Ritter. Um, but I would still take the Saints. I... I mean, I don't even trust them taking the, taking them as a favorite at home. Because, you know, the Falcons, they, they got playmakers on their offense, so they could definitely put up points. But, yeah, I I don't know. Right now I got the Saints winning and covering. So, um, then we move on. Um, we'll go to the uh, – now we'll talk about the AFC South. So, um, you know, the Jags 9-7. and seven. Titans are five and eleven. These two teams actually played, you know, in that Saturday night last year in Jacksonville. Josh Dobbs was the quarterback. That was for the division, basically, um, and the Jags were able to get that win. Um, Trevor Lawrence is banged up. Um, I feel like he is going to play in this game, um, but even if he does, you know, he, he's still going to be hurt. I mean, he's. The, I mean, since the uh, the Bengals game, I mean, he just he was getting hurt constantly. Um, I mean, I think the Jags should win, but it's going to be a tough game. I'm ta- I, I in the spread pool, the line was five and a half. Well, it started at five and a half, um, and then since it's gone down to three and a half, I, I'm taking the Titans with the points. Um, I think the Jags still win, but. I just I really don't trust them right now, you know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Titans 
they cover, but I think the Jags still win. Um, but again, don't feel great about it. A lot of these games I just don't really know. Um, then, so then you got the other games here, the Lions and the Vikings. Right now the Lions are three and a half point favorites. I mean, the Lions are kind of locked into the playoff spot that are that they're in. Um, I don't know if they're going to be playing their starters the whole game. So I I I, I got to see what the uh, who ends up being active, who ends up being inactive for this game. Because if the Lions hit a bunch of their starters, then I'm going to end up switching to the Vikings. Um, so, but right now, Lions win and cover. We'll just go with that, but subject to change. Um, and then two more games here. Um, you got the uh, the Bengals and the Browns. The Browns are going to be sitting their starters. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't feel great about, uh, you know, picking this game. Actually, the starting quarterback in this game is going to be Jeff Driscoll. He's going to be starting this game. The Browns picked him up and they're starting him. So I mean, I guess I'll take. I mean, I'll take the Bengals to win. Seven is a big number. Um. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I know it's five and a half in my spread pool. Um, take the Browns with the points. Uh, Bengals win though. And then finally, you got the Patriots and the Jets. Wow. And this actually could very well be uh, Bill Belichick's last game, you know, coaching for the uh, for the Patriots, um, which uh, is crazy to think about that we are uh, that that could that this could possibly be an end of an era. Um, I like the Patriots to win this game. Uh, they, you know, continue their dominance against the Jets. Um yeah, I uh, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about this game. But, you know, the Patriots still own the Jets, and I think that continues. I'd be surprised if anything else happens. I mean, if the Jets end up winning, I mean, that, you know, Tom Brady ends up losing his final game, final regular season game with the Patriots uh, to a divisional opponent. Maybe Bill Belichick does the same thing, loses to the Jets. Um, obviously, they play. Patriots played another game in the playoffs and lost to the Titans, um, you know, that year in 2019. Because uh, the Patriots were going for the two seed. And then um, and then Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Dolphins said, nope, you're not getting that. You're not getting that in the bye. And uh, they ended up losing. Uh, Fitzpatrick throwing that touchdown to uh, Mike Kosicki uh, for the win. And then the Patriots ended up losing... Um, in the uh, in the wild card round against the Titans, Logan Ryan getting that pick six, the last pass Tom Brady ever threw as a Patriot. Um, but yeah, um, I think the uh, I think the Patriots do win here because the Jets just um, they just cannot beat the Patriots no matter what. Um, maybe next year will be different, but. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I think Bill Belichick wins, and if this is it, you know, he goes out on a high note. So, but yeah, so to run through the picks again, um, so right now, taking the Panthers with the points, um, taking the Lions, laying the points, um, taking the Saints, three point favorites over the Falcons, taking them. Um, I'll take the Browns with the seven. Uh, but the Bengals still win. Um, Patriots I'll take as a one-and-a-half point favorite. Titans I'll take with the points, but I think the Jags still win. But, yeah, that's uh, – but, but then, like, the rest of the games are all at, uh, you know, at the uh, in the, um, the later window here. Yeah, if there's only uh, – so, yeah, there's um, – so there's six early window games. And then there's, um, not including the Sunday night, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, seven. There, there's seven um, late window games, and then eight, including the uh, the Sunday night game. So, um, But, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. I mean, I, I think the Bucks, I, I don't trust them, but I think they should win. But I could definitely see something happening because – 
the Panthers, both of their wins have come at home. You know, so I expect them to play a little bit better than they did. Well, I expect them to play. They should play a lot better than they did uh, against the Jaguars because that was just, you know, I don't know what that was. Um, but it, we talked about this yesterday. I mean, they um, they've struggled. Um, you know, I mean, they put up, again, they put up 30 points against the Packers and then they can't, you know, score anything against CJ Beathard and the Jags. So, um, you know, and the last time they played the Bucks, it was a close game. You know, it was 21-18. You know, they could have uh, pulled off an upset there, but, um, you know, Mike Evans had a big game there. So, you know, he's going to need to have one here. And Baker's going to have to bounce back after a rough game against the Saints, you know, um, they did get Chris Godwin more involved. Chris Godwin actually had a monster game last week against the uh, against the Saints. How many receiving yards did he have? Um, let's see. Chris Godwin last week had. Oh, I don't know why I thought he had. Oh, I guess it was the week before the, the couple weeks before that against Green Bay at 155. But yeah, he had three receptions for 81 yards and a touchdown. But yeah, that was towards like the the end of the game. The Packers game is the one I was thinking of because he had like. Yeah, he had over 150 yards. Um, but, yeah, I mean, listen, the Bucks should win. But, again, who knows? Um, and then the Saints, I mean, they still have a path to the playoffs if they, um, you know, if they win and are eliminated from the AFC South contention. Because you still got Seattle who could lose. You got Green Bay that could lose. Um, they still got a shot even if uh, the Bucks win. But it's going to be tough gonna be tough and if the saints if they could have played like how they played against the bucks on sunday they'd be in a much better position but they just they've been one of those inconsistent teams all season so um so before we go into our uh second break of the show uh, i just want to remind you guys uh once again to tip or donate and get your comments recognized make sure to go to the following link that is stream elements.com slash gsmc sports network dot slash tip again that really helps the show makes the show more interactive between myself the host and you guys the viewers, again, that is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So, when we come back, uh, we'll preview uh, the late window games. These are the games um, with pretty much all of the, uh, pretty much all have uh, playoff implications involved in them um, with teams. So, um, except maybe like, so maybe like one or two, um, but yeah, that is what we will. Uh, that's what we'll preview when we come back from our uh, second break of the show. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 